Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on Sonar Cube. In this session, we are going to look at what is Sonar Cube and its advantages. Sonar Cube is an open source platform for continuous inspection of code quality. Sonar Cube was written in Java language and it offers support for various languages. The first feature of Sonar Cube is it is a open source and it is going to support support for language support for various languages such as it is going to support it is it is going to support uh, various languages such as she has java php flex groovy like it is going to support various languages for uh, to do the code quality and also it is going to be support it is going to provide the reports for various code quality uh, issues such as if you find any duplicate of the if, if there is any duplicate code in your project or um, how many unit test cases actually it is it, in your project it is there and what is the percentage of the unit test cases it is got failed and uh, it got failed and it is got succeeded and also it will give you the information about the code coverage so code coverage basically tells you that what percentage of your code actually covered by the test cases whether it is a integration of the unit test cases but it is going to be provide the report uh, report for what percentage of the your code will be will be covered by the unit test cases or the integration test cases and also it will tells you or it will give you the info it will give you the reports about the uh, code complexity Code complexity basically tells you about whether whatever the coding we have done, whether it is a simplified manner or we are get we are giving we are coded in a complex way. To for example, complexity basically, if a uh, new developer come to the project, whether he is going to easily understand all the com uh, all the complexity of the logic is in a complex way or the simple way and also it will it will describe you about the design and the architecture whether it we have done in a simple way or it in a complex way and also it will provide the reports about the historical that means sonar cube once you have uh, once you have uh, uh, once you run the sonar cube it is going to provide the report and uh, based on that report the developer or the manager can take the action to correct those issues once you fix those issues again the second time if you run the report it is going to give you the comparison with the historical reports with the current results so that the whatever the changes has done by the developers is really improve the code quality or not then uh, we can uh, that means they can take the decision and also it is going to support um, integration it is going to support with the build tools or the integration uh, integration tools that means sonar cube can be um, can be integrated with our build tools like a ant mavin or the gradle tools okay and also it is going to be it is going to integrated with the eclipse also in the, the latest version of the sonar cube in the eclipse we will call as a sonar lint and the developer can integrate this sonar lint plugin in the eclipse once the sonar clip uh, lint is integrated to your eclipse the developer can find uh, analyze the code quality at the time of development phase itself and once you uh, run the sonar lint in your eclipse it is going to provide the all the issues uh, technical issues find during the analysis then developer can fix on the development phase itself it really improves the development cost and next one is it is going to uh, support external plugins like uh, if you want to uh, integrate your sonar lint with uh, some uh, uh, ldap uh, authentication then it can support adding the external plugins also so these are the features that means here i can say extend uh, extend extend extendability i'll say okay so extendability also it will be support so these are the main features of the sonar cube in the next session we are going to see uh, uh, the installation part of the sonar cube in our local thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video